is going to be the palpation of brachialis. So for brachialis, brachialis is originating on the distal anterior surface of the humerus. And that basically means that we need to palpate underneath biceps brachii. So to get at that origin, there's two ways. We're gonna both push it and pull it out of the way, depending on how you look at it with your hands. But I need to soften up his biceps first. I'm gonna get him to activate biceps brachii first, just so you guys can have a visual of that. So in a supinated position, I get to see kind of the edge of his biceps right here. Now, as he relaxes that position, I still have that edge of muscle belly. I'm gonna push it medially right off. So now my fingertips are over top of the anterior surface of his humerus. I'm actually gonna get him to turn his palm facing down. So we're actually putting the forearm in pronation and I'm gonna ask him to try to bring his elbow up through flexion. Go ahead, great. So I'm pushed over biceps, I'm down on top of brachialis as he's going through elbow flexion and I can easily feel a muscle pushing my fingertips up. I'm going to follow that down. Good. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to be pushing biceps laterally this time. So I'm going to switch hands. Again, let's fire off biceps just to get a visual. Good. We're going to push it laterally this time. And I'm going to turn him over into pronation. So now I have biceps pushed over laterally. My palm is down on top of the distal anterior surface of his humerus. And he's going to do some pronation and flexion, good. So it's not so much the action of pronation, it's just putting the forearm in pronation to weaken our biceps brachii. As I follow down brachialis, it's gonna cross the elbow joint and it's gonna be inserting into the ulna. I'm gonna turn him back into supinated for just a second. You can see the biceps tendon right here as I'm kind of cross fiber strumming it. I want to stay medial to that because we know this tendon is heading towards the radius where brachialis is gonna be heading towards the ulna. So right here at that flexor crease of the forearm, I'm going to cross over the anterior part of the elbow and just start to sink in what is the coronoid process of the ulna and then just distal to that is the ulnar tuberosity. I'm gonna again passively flex his elbow up, making it a little bit easier for me to sink in, put him in a pronated position and ask for him to flex his elbow for me. Go ahead, great, and then relax. And so deep to my fingertips, again, is the coronoid process and the ulnar tuberosity of the ulna, which is the insertion for brachialis. Now brachialis's only action is to do flexion of the elbow. And so in reality, it doesn't really matter which position the forearm is in, it's always going to be doing that flexion. But as we've mentioned already, to take biceps out, we usually have it tested in a pronated position. It does not do pronation, it just does flexion of the forearm at the elbow joint. And lastly, it is innervated again by the musculocutaneous nerve.